if you need cheap codes or cheap games, head on over to G2A.com, use Dirty at checkout, get that hookup, get that extra discount. Yeah. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike, and today, my friends, we're going to discuss the half drag back. Some would say this is the professional drag back, mainly because my man Hashtag Tass, teammate of mine, good guy, he's got a lovely personality, FIFA skills are on point. I would say that he kind of brought it to life with the first FET Champions event that happened in Paris. Of course, he won that event, but he also scored multiple goals using this half drag back. And this was an introduction for some of this skill move and how effective it actually could be. So if you haven't seen those goals, actually, bro clip. Never had more than one goal scored against him in a match. Sihan, in this tournament alone, is averaging three goals a game. Wow. So it's like the best defense versus one of the best attacks. It's, it's a real clash. And now the question is, is that 1-0 going to be enough? It doesn't wow. matter because it's 2-0 as Suarez scores another early one for Tass. And now Tass is going to break again with the excellent Rude Hullet down on this bottom side. And he doesn't overcommit when he makes this push. You can see still playing very defensive. He's got Vieira trying to push on through. He's now got himself in a great position to lay it up for George Best. Oh, that could surely be it. 3-0. That's what we're going to be discussing today. And by no means am I saying this is an exclusive from Tass that he created this skill. No, I just think in the mainstream sector of the FIFA community, many people that were not necessarily involved in the competitive scene or esports learn this skill or they were introduced via the Paris Regional, which makes sense. It was the first big event, high level FIFA everywhere. Maybe the hardest event to date because everyone that qualified to that event was just brilliant. If you have any questions, get in the comments down below and what kind of tips or tutorials would you like to see? I know we're later in the year, but there's still value and maybe some of the more advanced techniques. And I do want to talk to you for just a minute before we get into all the clip analysis. I'm not trying to eliminate FIFA content from this channel. However, I do want to transition into having more football and more dynamic content as well because it gets me out of my room. Even though I've been doing YouTube for three years, I feel like I haven't necessarily introduced you to everything. And then FUT champs, that grind makes you start feeling out of shape. Bagel bites are looking good. Hot pockets, you love them. And I don't want to sit behind the desk all day and put on these pounds with the FIFA grind. I'm actually going to have a really cool series coming out relatively soon. Give it maybe three or four weeks. Insider trading. The point I'm making is I don't want to just upload to upload. I want to make sure that I'm proud of everything that I'm uploading and I'm showing progression on my channel because a lot of you guys have been with me for quite some time. For everyone who's new, welcome. Happy to have you. I know this has been a little bit of a lengthy intro, but I felt like I needed to tell you guys what's going on. Here we are in my second home, the arena. And there are mixed reviews about the arena. Some people like it for doing skills. Others say the perspective gets to them. The view is not good practice. And that's fine. Get into the skill games. Get that traditional side view. And you can learn that way. And then you start to introduce the skills or incorporate some of the intangibles into online matches. I think that's the step by step. And with this half drag back, it's actually the standard drag back. When you look at the controls and it says to flick the left stick, and that will always do this drag back. That's the big difference. When we're using the normal drag back, what we're doing, and I've made a complete tutorial on the drag back, some combinations with the drag back. So this video, we're going to talk more about what you're looking for in terms of execution. But most of us, we're holding the left analog stick, and that's why we're choosing an exit direction. However, with the half drag back, you're actually just flicking it. Just flick it one time. Why are you doing the drag back? So R1, flick. Or RB, flick. That's it. Do not hold it. You've got to flick it and then he just pulls it back just a second and you just flick it back from the direction that you're already facing so if you're facing forward you hit back one time boom and it, it's there it's not hard to, to to learn it's not hard to get down packed as you see that first goal and this example uh it might not be the most efficient choice here we had juan mata left foot my mindset i wasn't sure about that first touch i've been playing a lot with juan mata and i wanted to be maybe a little bit fancy I wasn't that traditional in terms of my finishing, but in the majority of those circumstances, you probably want to take that on his dominant foot across the body, low driven, good things are going to happen. I made it harder. I made it more complicated. And as you may have noticed, we're going to talk about the three areas on the pitch 
that you can utilize this skill to score goals and to improve your attack. The first one was inside the box. The second one is now that build up right outside the box. Very important area. Everyone gets to this position in FIFA whew, time and time again, every single match. And this often dictates the difference between a top 100 player, an elite player, a gold player, etc. How well are you able to break down your opponent from this position? And in this first freeze frame, I must hold up the plate. There are no options available. Look at my guys. One's off sides, one of them's on the other side of the pitch, the other couple passing lanes, it's not there. And that's where you can use this half drag back to try to bait your opponent into moving some players out of position, maybe getting aggressive in this case. We're gonna see him pick up a second yellow card. It's gonna be a red card. And you guys know, I work hard to make sure I give you guys examples that make sense. Uh, I wanna score goals and I want to make sure that I'm showcasing these skills or these ways of attacking in a, in a form that you can see the goal. You can see something going to the back of the net. This is lovely here. Space created for the overlap. He gets this triangle of defenders. They're all out of position. Messi, mm, he's too fast for him. We draw a penalty kick and we're gonna tuck that home. Thank goodness he didn't dive or step to the side. We'll take it. Appreciate that, Ronaldo. Mm. Ronaldo actually just came off a, a brilliant game. Champions League, he's been disgusting this year. We got to appreciate Messi and Ronaldo. And even Ibra. Please appreciate Ibra. These guys are special. And you won't even realize it till later in your life. Because, uh, let's face it, most of us aren't that old. And we don't realize what kind of greatness that we're actually a part of. We're in the best era right now. We're in a lucky era. In the last example, we're down the wings. And now I'm trying to allow the play to develop. And it's kind of about knowing your personnel. I realized Montoya, my right back, cannot score from here. I should not even attempt to shoot from there. That's a waste. So I'm holding up the play. I'm waiting for some guys to get in the box. Then we whip it in. Conte, good finish. A little bit of some good fortune. Maybe he should have kicked it out of the goalkeeper. Whatever. If he's on my team, I'm good with that. Uh, if you want to let it roll in, we're scooting, we're booting. And this drag back is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Anyone can do it. Anyone can make a peanut butter and jelly. And it's always going to leave you with some sort of aftertaste, all right? And if you do this skill in a game and you score, trust me, you make a noise that goes, ooh, mmm, mmm, that, that was nasty, that was good. I like that. Tell me I'm lying. If you use this skill a lot, you definitely congratulate yourself if you're in a match. Maybe it's just me. But if you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe with your brand new. Happy to have you here. And I'll have a lot more content come for you ASAP, ASAP. Don't forget to hashtag it.